we're heading toward the ground at race car speeds. So there's no way we're going to joystick this down. For the first time in the history of Mars exploration, a rover is equipped with the intelligence to try to steer itself out of danger. While there hasn't yet been any definitive proof of past or current life on Mars, there have been some things that are both interesting and promising at hinting towards the possibility. From the beginning of our explorations all the way to our most current search, there's been a lot of exciting discoveries that have been made, each time getting us a step closer to understanding the history of the planet and what it is currently holding. On today's most amazing top 10 list, I will be diving into the top 10 signs of life on Mars. Starting off our list at our number 10 spot, we have the beginning. Let's start at the beginning of when we began to speculate that there may be life on Mars. If you didn't know, Mars has polar ice caps and those were first discovered in the 17th century. In the late 18th century, a scientist named William Herschel proved that the ice caps grew and shrunk but were alternating based on the summer and winter each hemisphere was in. From there, astronomers began to realize all of the other similarities that Mars has to Earth, such as a very similar length of day, a similar axial tilt, and the fact that Mars was clearly experiencing seasons, albeit twice the length of Earth's. This all led scientists to speculate that there may be alien life living on the planet because it has all of these similarities to our incredibly hospitable Earth, maybe Mars would be equally as great of a host for life. Way back then, it was theorized that there may possibly be advanced alien life, which we now know is not the case, but that doesn't mean that there is no alien life at all or that life on Mars never existed. In our number 9 spot today we have the Viking 1. We can now move along to the first lander on Mars which occurred in 1976 and was NASA's Viking 1 lander. This was a huge step in the process of exploring and searching for life on Mars and it all started with the search for water, specifically liquid water. Water has been found on other planets in our solar system but it is not normally found in liquid form due to the extreme environments and atmospheres that exist in space and on other planets. The Viking 1 was able to give us pretty pretty solid evidence that led scientists to believe that there had once been liquid water on Mars and it seemed as though it had rained. While Mars certainly isn't currently a planet that would be hospitable to human life, what the Viking 1 gave researchers was evidence that the planet probably once was very hospitable for life and the rain would mean that the planet once had a thicker atmosphere, which means that while it may not be currently holding life, there is the possibility that it once was and may even still in the smallest, earliest way. In our number eight spot today we have the Martian elements. Another thing that the Viking 1 was able to prove to scientists other than the existence of the ancient riverbeds and the evidence of vast flooding was that the planet held all of the elements that are essential for us to live here on Earth. These elements are the ones like carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus, just to name a few. This is of course a huge step because discoveries like these give scientists the ability to decide on what the next steps would be in the search for life. After this discovery, the Viking landers were able to perform some experiments on the Martian soil which did end up leading to some controversial results. The soil sample did test positive for metabolism which most definitely could be a positive sign of some sort of microorganism life but there are also other reasons which could be responsible for this positive test. While it would be nice to just jump to the conclusion that we've successfully found life on Mars, it is imperative that our scientists remain skeptical and don't take this one experiment as a sure sign. In our number 7 spot today we have ALH 84001. On December 27th, 1984, a piece of Mars was actually found on Earth. This meteorite was found in the Allen Hills in Antarctica and it is believed that it started off on Mars, of course, and was thought to have crystallized from molten rock around 4 billion years ago. Scientists believe that it came barreling to Earth after an ancient collision only to be found by some American meteor hunters. The rock was named ALH 84001 and it weighed around 4 pounds and of course testing was done on it immediately because this is believed to be the oldest Martian rock we have ever found on Earth. In 1996, while scientists were looking into the rock, they found structures in the meteorite that seemed similar to what would be formed by microbes as well as the presence of organic materials. There have, like many other potential signs of life on Mars, been scientists who have come up with other possible explanations for the structures that were found and there are some scientists who believe that the organic material came from contamination with earth materials, but truthfully, either theory could be correct. 
In our number 6 spot today we have Curiosity. Now we are back on Mars with the Curiosity rover and its major discovery. Well we already talked about the discovery of the traces of sulfur, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus and carbon, Curiosity found the presence of minerals like sulfates and sulfides. This was an important discovery because it means that if life once existed, these minerals could have been utilized by the ancient microbes that may have once or possibly do still exist. This discovery led scientists to hypothesize that if there were primitive microbes, they may have found the minerals as a source of sufficient energy by feeding on the Martian rocks. These minerals also showed that when there was liquid water on Mars, the chemical composition of it would have been fine for us as humans to drink, which is another important factor when determining how hospitable a planet is. In our number 5 spot today we have Martian cauliflower. We are now getting closer to where we are at in our current search for life on Mars, but we're still a few years behind with a discovery made by the Spirit rover in 2008. As Spirit was searching the red planet, it found a strange shape that was sticking out of the Gusev crater. This weird little shaped thing was nicknamed cauliflower because of its strange shape and appearance, but of course it isn't even close to being actual cauliflower. Images were of course taken of this, which showed that it contained a series of mineral deposits made up of opaline silica. This was super important because on Earth, these kinds of silica deposits are often in association with microbial activity. The skepticism with this one comes because of how different Mars current atmosphere is from Earth's. So we have to understand that this could have been caused by something as simple as wind erosion, which is a non-biological process. But just because we have to remain skeptical and question all angles doesn't mean that this doesn't point to signs of Martian bacteria. In our number 4 spot today we have Mars past. Before we get into the most recent discoveries, just to do our due diligence, we should definitely talk about the history of Mars because like we've talked about a bit already today, in its current state, it most definitely doesn't seem like a place where life could thrive. Currently, Mars is cold and dry and can reach temperatures of minus 140 degrees Celsius, which even as a Canadian, I can admit is a little too cold. The atmosphere of Mars is also currently far too thin to protect the planet from the ultraviolet radiation from space, which would be more than enough to kill any kind of life that we know of here on Earth. But because of all the exploration we've done throughout the years, along with some of the discoveries we've discussed today, we now know that Mars was not always like this. Mars is just as old as Earth is, which means there's been tons and tons of time for the planet to change. The lake beds we found show that the water was once flowing there, despite that not being the case currently. Astronomers say that there is reason to believe that Mars atmosphere was once filled with carbon dioxide, which traps heat and in turn would have caused a greenhouse effect and warmed the planet to a temperature more conducive to life. Because of the age of Mars, there would have been millions, if not billions, Billions of years where the planet was both warm and wet, which is the perfect combination for emerging life. When the Martian conditions turned cold and nasty, it is possible that this may have led to the extinction of the life that may have once existed, which would have left fossils behind. Or just maybe there is still the presence of life just under the surface of the red planet. This is why, while we know advanced civilized aliens aren't walking around on the planet, we have to continue our search. In our number 3 spot today we have potential contamination. With all of our missions to Mars, one thing that is extremely important before the rovers take off on their long journey is decontamination. Any kind of contamination from our planet could greatly skew the results of all of the searches and experiments, so of course there are extreme processes that take place before takeoff. This doesn't mean it hasn't happened though. This is just another reason on the long list of why it is always imperative to remain skeptical. What if we found evidence of life on Mars only to later find out that it came from us. The good news is that it is highly unlikely that any organisms from Earth could survive in that kind of a harsh climate, but we certainly cannot bank on that. In our number 2 spot today we have methane. Okay, we are back on our timeline of Martian discoveries that might point to signs of life. Now we are at a point just a few years ago in 2018 when the Curiosity rover found evidence of the presence of methane in the Martian air. It has been hypothesized from other observations from rovers and orbiters that methane may be present, but Curiosity was the first to give us the evidence we needed. This methane discovery is important because on Earth, methane is considered an indication of life, but it is volatile and doesn't 
doesn't last for very long because it quickly breaks down into other molecules. This of course means that there must be something producing the methane that we've been able to find. We also discovered that the methane on Mars goes up and down which suggests to scientists that it's being produced by living organisms. This isn't, like everything else on this list, a conclusive finding to prove that life on Mars exists, but it is another reason for us to just continue. In our number one spot today we have perseverance. Okay, we are finally at our most recent exploration with the extremely cool and exciting Perseverance rover which landed on the planet on February 18th of this year. Perseverance is set to have the largest search for life on the planet that we have ever seen and this is due to both the past explorations and discoveries as well as technological advancements. I mean, we can now see pictures of Mars in 4K. How wild is that? One of Perseverance's main objectives is to search the Jezero crater. This crater is 28 miles wide and 1,600 feet deep and is located just a bit north of the Martian equator. This crater is obviously huge but very important in our search because it is thought to have once housed a lake that would have dried up around 3.5 billion years ago. This has led it to be basically a perfect spot for the rover to look for ancient signs of life and microorganisms that may have once lived in the water. Not only will Perseverance conduct its own experiments, but it will also store samples of rocks for its future return mission to Earth. While this hasn't yet provided us with any signs that may point to life, the potential future findings are very exciting. Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thank you so much for checking it out. Let me know down below in the comments if you think that life does or did exist on Mars at one point. I want to know. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you next time. Bye!